This video is sponsored by Factor. Hey guys, Maven here. Now, one of the challenges in being in the WWE is how do we eat? I mean, we have to stay in shape because we're on TV in our underwear, in essence, but we also need to take in calories. We're never in our own kitchen and we don't have our own chefs on the road. So how do we get the food that we need? Well, that's what today's video is all about. I'm gonna show you what I ate while on the road and some of the other guys ate as well. And I'm gonna run through breakfast, lunch, and dinner, mix in a few snacks along the way, and I'm even gonna show you what a few of my cheat meals were because hey, we all want something yummy occasionally. First, we have to start with the most important meal of the day, and that is breakfast. So after I would wake up in the morning, I would usually contact whoever I was riding with, whether it be Randy, Devon, or Al Snow, and we would always wanna grab breakfast immediately. This always took place in a diner, a Denny's or a Perkins or something like that, but hey, you're in my kitchen. So I'm gonna show you what my favorite breakfast was when I was in the WWE. I'm warning you, it was boring, but it was healthy and it was great for you. Let me cook it up. I am far from a chef, so please forgive me and I guarantee you I know what's gonna happen. There's gonna be, there's gonna be people in the comments that's gonna say I wouldn't do it this way or that's not how you do it or don't use that brand of anything. Listen, anything I'm doing right now is for, once again, educational purposes only. I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to be Gordon Ramsay here. I'm not trying to be Wolfgang Maven. This is just to show you what I would eat. And egg whites, egg whites is something that I literally ate every morning of my life for about a good five years. So while my eggs are cooking, I have my good old fashioned you know, oatmeal. Add my oats. Add my water into the microwave they go. The good thing about egg whites in the morning is that it's a good way to get in the protein that you need, obviously. Many of the guys, myself included, once we would get breakfast in us, we would be hitting the gym. We would be trying to get our workout in as quickly as possible to get it out of the way because we either had to get to the arena or we might have a drive ahead of us. But I know what you're saying. You're saying, Maven, why? this is so bland. I got you covered. Toss a piece of, toss a piece of sliced turkey in there. Chop it up. Look at that. Man, it's an omelet fit for a king right there. So now that the egg whites are done, we have our protein. We have our meat in them as well. If you add turkey, some guys would add cheese. Some guys would add hot sauce. I'm a big hot sauce guy. I have this. All I'm waiting for now is my oatmeal, which is going to provide me with energy. It's a good, good fuel to get you going. Going to be great for energy throughout the day. So here is your breakfast. Now, this was my go-to breakfast and a lot of the guys go to breakfast. With the eggs, you have your protein. Some guys would add cheese, others would add other meats. I was a big turkey guy, so I got my, I got my, my little bit of extra added flavor benefit in there. And then the oatmeal, just a great energy food. It's gonna provide you that energy you need to kickstart your day and get you through everything. But does it taste like I remember it? Mmm. Bringing back so many good memories. It actually is good. Bringing back good memories. <laughs> but in the end, I still had to drive to the restaurant. I still had to wait for my order and hope they got it right. Well, that's where today's video sponsor comes in. Factor. Factor delivers to your door fresh, never frozen meals that are ready to eat in two minutes. And Factor provides a variety of choices depending on your 
personal preference. Whether it be keto, calorie smart, chef's choice, or veggie and vegan, there's something for everyone. Me personally, I chose keto and I promise you, you are in no way sacrificing taste. You can either choose the meals yourself or let Factor craft the order for you based on your taste preferences and meal history. Personally for me, when I was on the road, my time at home was so valuable. So anytime eliminated at a grocery store or in front of a hot stove would have been greatly appreciated. But fortunately for me, I have Factor now so I can save time without sacrificing any of the taste. Head to factor75.com or click the link below. Use code MAVEN50 to get 50% off your first Factor box and free wellness shots for life. Two free wellness shots from three available flavors for every order while you are an active subscriber. And a big thank you to Factor for sponsoring this video. Now that breakfast is out of the way, what do we do directly after? Well, usually it's one of two things, either getting a workout in or maybe we have to drive to the next town, to the next show. And since we're in the car for hours and at the time we're burning a lot of calories, we're gonna need to refuel ourselves but we don't have the luxury, the benefit of stopping every hour, every two hours, just to get another meal in. So what do we do? Well, I got you covered. So for me, a good, quick, handy snack was always almonds, or if I wanted something that was a tiny bit yummier, some trail mix. But, I know exactly what you're saying and I know what I was thinking during that time. This takes up a lot of real estate in your bag. I can't carry that around everywhere I go. You know me, I got you covered. I would usually prepare this the night before I left. I would just get my baggies, take my almonds, There we go. Now I got my almonds. There, now we have a quick handy snack and a snack that's not gonna take up too much real estate in your bag. This was with me every show I went to and by the time I was flying home, every Tuesday morning, both of these bags were completely empty because I was going through the whole thing. And actually, this is one of the meals, one of the, one of the things that to this day, I still eat. I would eat these all the time. A lot of the guys would eat these, but they might have other snack ideas I'm gonna show you in just a little bit. So as the day progresses, we come to lunch. Now usually, once lunch comes, I had already gotten my workout in, and everyone knows once you get your workout done, you need to get protein into your system. I did this in two ways. The first way I did this wasn't necessarily the most tasty of options, but it was always packed for convenience. I was huge on tuna fish. A lot of the guys backstage was huge on tuna fish. I actually got this idea from Rob Conway. He showed me that these quick, easy tuna on the go packets, you could literally shove five to 10 of them in your bag. They take up next to no room. They open with ease and all you need is a fork and you could eat these anywhere on the go. It's been a while since I ate plain tuna fish. The second way I would get my protein in was from protein shakes. Now, I would always I would always drink my protein shakes, usually at the gym or at a shake bar or wherever. I was not usually making them on the road, but I always had the ability to make them if I needed to make them. Something that could easily go into your bag. Something that you made sure was gonna give you that protein you needed when you needed it. And just like with, with snacks, baggies would come in very handy. You could easily pack all your protein you needed, put it in your bag, and then and then quickly and easily make yourself a shake 
on the go. Now that my shake is mixed, There's the protein I needed. So my workout's done. I've got my lunch in. I've got my tuna eaten. I've got my shake drank. I'm good to go for a few hours. So now that we get to the part of the day when breakfast and lunch are in our rear view, we've had a few snacks, but we're not quite at dinner, but we find ourselves starving after a match. What are we gonna do? And remember, I always rode with Randy Orton, so I could be in the first, second, or third match. He would be in the last match, which would leave hours before I could get to a restaurant. Here's a good, easy fix that I guarantee, if you try, will shock you with how good it is. But I don't wanna hear anyone in the comments say how unhealthy it is. I already know it's not great for you. After I got out of the ring, I wasn't looking for the healthiest of options. I was looking for a tasty, yummy option. Here is another snack that I completely give Rob Conway all the credit on again. Rob taught me this little trick, and you might be thinking to yourself, Maven rice cakes and peanut butter? Hmm, I, I challenge you, try this at home. You will love it. Let me show you how we did it. What made this snack so good, so easy, was its portability. Literally, this wasn't taking up hardly any space in our travel bag. This went on the road with me every week. Grab yourself a rice case. Now, you need squeezable peanut butter because you don't wanna be, you know, you don't wanna have a jar of peanut butter. Just trust me, get the squeezable. All it takes is a quick squeeze and a quick spread. There would be guys backstage making this nonstop. And again, I know it. I know in the comments right now, you're racing to tell me how unhealthy, how, how fattening the peanut butter is, how much sugar is in this. We had been through a lot. By this time, I had been up for hours. I had burned a lot of calories. I had just gotten out of the ring. I wasn't quite at dinner. I was looking for something to hold me over and get me to that dinner but I wanted something that was tasty. I wanted something that was good. Hell, by the time I got out of the ring, I felt like I earned something yummy. This was just the thing. Oh, uh, well, I haven't had this in years. It takes me back to sitting at the monitor, sitting with Rene Dupree, Rob Conway, Sylvan. After we had gotten done wrestling, we would all make rice cakes and peanut butter. Again, I challenge you, go to your local, local store. Get some rice cakes, get some peanut butter, make it just like this, and then put in the comments if you like it or not. Mm. So now that the match is over, my day is almost done. I just have dinner to get. And whether I'm riding with Randy, Al, or Devon, we were always looking to get something that was relatively healthy. And I got this meal about 80% of the time, no matter what town we were in. What was that meal? Let me show you. Grilled chicken and steamed broccoli. The staple, the meal that I ate almost every night of my life when I was on the road, when I was trying to stay in the best shape of my life. I know you're thinking to yourself, Maven, this is a healthy meal, but in some ways it lacks of taste. How can I make it taste better? Fear not. You know I'm gonna show you a secret. Now, again, I don't need in the comments how unhealthy this is. I don't need your opinion about how I shouldn't have been putting it on. I did this because it made it a lot easier to go down. Right here, a little bit of this, a little spray butter on the steamed broccoli, just like the rice cakes. I dare you, go out, get yourself some steamed broccoli, get yourself some spray butter and try it. Makes it so much better. But this is the meal that I had about 80% of the time while I was on the road. Grilled chicken 
and steamed broccoli. This tasted good, it was healthy, and was also a favorite of many of the wrestlers I worked with during my time in the WWE. So now you've seen what my meals were like when I was a WWE wrestler. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, some snacks along the way, but I'm far from perfect. And occasionally I wanted a cheat meal. I wanted something yummy. And I was not about to, not about to stop myself from indulging from time to time. But what was it? What did I have when I wanted something super tasty? In fact, I'm gonna show you right now what my go-to cheat meal was. I'll be right back. <laughs> Here it is. My cheat meal, a lot of the guys cheat meal, pizza, meat lovers, dinner of champions. There were a few nights when Randy and I would be riding down the road and on the center console, we would have a full pepperoni or meat lovers pizza right there with us and we would eat every bite. And to this day, it's the one thing I can't say no to. And of course, nothing goes better with pizza than ginger ale. Eating like this, there was only one way I could keep that television ready physique. And to find out how, click the link above.